African history and human history in general is often misunderstood. While some folk beliefs display Africa in an incomplete and distorted light, the truth is many hallmarks of civilization originate from the African continent, including the most common denominator of our civilization, humans. The old one is the archaeological term used to refer to the stone tool that was used by Homo habilis. These are the earliest examples of tool use among the precursors to Homo sapiens. The earliest examples of the old one are found in East Africa, specifically in Tanzania. They became in vogue around 2.3 million BC. Homo ergaster, another Homo sapien ancestor, developed the Atuelan, which is thought to have originated in the earlier Oldowan technology. It was the dominant technology for the vast majority of human history starting more than one million years ago. These oval and pear-shaped hand axes have been found over a wide area, and some examples attained a very high level of sophistication, suggesting that the roots of human art, economy, and social organization arose as a result of their development. The earliest accepted examples of the type come from the West Turkana region of Kenya. To create the tool, a spherical stone is struck on the edge of a suitable core rock to produce a fracture with sharp edges useful for various purposes. Here you see examples of the old one above and below the Atuelan. In paleoanthropology, the recent African origin of modern humans is the most widely accepted model describing the origin and early dispersal of anatomically modern humans. Genetic and fossil evidence is interpreted to show that archaic Homo sapiens evolved to anatomically modern humans solely in Africa between 200,000 and 150,000 years ago. The Lebombo bone is the oldest known mathematical artifact. The Lebombo bone is a baboon's fibula with 29 distinct notches discovered within the border cave in the Lebombo mountains of Swaziland, a landlocked country in southern Africa. The numbers of notches suggest that the bone was used to mark the days of a lunar or menstrual calendar. It has been dated to about 35,000 years ago. Pre-dynastic Egyptians of the 5th millennium BC pictorially represented geometric designs. The earliest attested examples of mathematical calculations date to the pre-dynastic Egyptian Nakata period and show a fully developed numeral system. Texts such as the Rhind Mathematical Papyrus show that the ancient Egyptians performed the four basic mathematical operations, used fractions, computed the volumes of boxes and pyramids, and calculated the surface areas of rectangles, triangles, and circles. They understood basic concepts of algebra and geometry and solved simple sets of simultaneous equations. Mathematical notation was decimal and based on hieroglyphic signs for each power of 10, up to 1 million. The Pythagorean theorem was first known in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egyptians knew, for example, that a triangle had a right angle opposite the hypotenuse when its sides were in a 3-4-5 ratio. They were able to estimate the area of a circle by subtracting one-ninth from its diameter and squaring the result, a reasonable approximation of the formula pi r squared. These facts are just a tiny sample of the rich scientific and cultural history of Africa. I hope you enjoyed our presentation and found it enlightening. Thank you for watching.